Hey everyone, welcome back. Those that are new, welcome. Today, I'm back with another how-to video. Today we're gonna to be doing a cooling fan. 2011 Dodge Grand Caravan. This caravan starred in a few of my shows. So, we're here today again with it. And as, as I looked at it, it's appearing though, I mean, it looks a little bit more intimidating like that, but it doesn't really look like we really need much for tools at all. It looks like it just slides in and slides out. So I grabbed a couple of tools just in case there's something else we need tool wise. We will stop the video and go grab them and I will definitely keep you posted on what tools we need. But first, it looks like we pull this hose off, pull it out, it kind of clips into there. Kind of clips into right there. Just pull that out, get it out of our way. We got a plug here, a couple little hold downs, another hold down right there that needs to come out, and that'll get that plug out of the way, and that wiring loom out of the way. It's got one of those little red, little red clippies. You got to just pop the screwdriver there and. Pull that out that way you can get the you can get down into it working one-handed so I might need to pause the video a few times to in order to pull these things out so I might have to do that here need two hands so I'll get that out I'll pull these little clips off just grab some cutters or some pliers and pop those out some needle nose that should be good for those that one's already out on this one just got that one and then the fan plug down below will need to come out. We may have to pull the upper hose off just to get us to where we can reach down in there a little bit. But anyway, I will do that and come right back. Okay, so I pulled the upper radiator hose out. Just kind of flipped up there. It looks like we gained a little bit better access down there. But we still, the plug for the fan itself is still kind of dead kind of a tight squeeze down there so maybe we'll work around it when we pull the fan maybe we can just pull the fan out and unplug it from there but, and while I'm here I'm going to just run some water through the radiator and kind of let it so I can kind of flush out the radiator he's been having heating is overheating issues he thinks the fan the little resistor on the fan is not working so it's not speeding up and he just wants me to put it in. Next thing, this just lifts up. It's got just, just these little notches that slip into into the fan right here. And that looks like that's about all we really got to deal with. I don't know if this little support needs to come off or not, but we will find out. So you should just be able to lift up on the fan and get it free might need to grab a little screwdriver down in there to pry it but it just lifts there's no bolts there's no no nothing some of them most of them will have just like a 10 millimeter right here but this one doesn't this one just slides in and slides out so we should be pretty much right there the only thing i can see is maybe this will get in the way but we'll give it a try and i will be back okay so you do need a little screwdriver to push this little tab in right here that's just a little little piece here that pushes in yeah that kind of pushes in in order to release release it I'm pretty sure they're only on the top I would hope they're only on the top because it would make it a lot more difficult if those are on the bottom as well but we'll push that little tab in and lift out this radiator looks like we got one on or not radiator fan looks like we got one on this side too and this fans should release after that so I'll get to that point and we'll let you know what I come up with okay so that does come up but it does look like it's just kind of a tight fit with these wires and you know, this part of the radiator and this part of the radiator so you're gonna have to just kind of wiggle it you might have to get some of these wires out of the way in order for it to come in order for it to be able to slide up or well, I don't even know if taking this off would help because we're coming up over that. That's not the problem. It's just that it's, it catches down here. So you're just going to have to kind of 
just kind of finagle it, you know, try, you know, looks like it's more catching down here. So we might have to relocate some of these wires down here. But I will figure all that out and I will come right back. Okay, so I was able to get it out. I want to drop it down in there again because it's still kind of a tight squeeze. But I, but now I got to get this thing unplugged. So unplug that and then I should be able to turn it and twist it a little bit to, to get it the rest of the way. Okay, once I got that unplugged, it pretty much slid right out. But I look at this and it looks like there might be some some damage to it so maybe he's on the right track maybe it's maybe that's his problem but i might still run some water through the radiator just to kind of flush it out check the flow make sure it's flowing good but most likely that might be what the problem is he could have just got this but i know it's just a little bit more and you get the whole fan as opposed to just buying that so that's probably why he bought the whole fan but anyway, now we can put it back in. Okay, it appeared to go in a little easier, but it slid in pretty good. Just make sure you get your tabs, your bottom tab, your upper tab, make sure they're all, make sure they're all at least where they're supposed to be. And then you just push down, hear that click, clicked in good. And now all you gotta do is rerun all your stuff, plug everything back in. And I probably should have plugged that in before I set it all in place, but it doesn't look like this one's too bad because it's on a, it's right up here. So that should be good. That one should be good. So now it's just a matter of put your, put your overflow bottle back in kind of the same way. You just, you just line these up, line those up. Just kind of line the little holes into the notches or those into the notches slide it down get the bottom one in make sure we get the bottom one make sure we get there we go perfect 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 and then we slip this back through back through the hole there as it came back out when i pull it let me just pop it back in here. Pop it back in there. You'll have to pardon me. I'm working one-handed, so you'll have to give me a give me some credit. Now we're good. And then we plug this back in. Plug this back in. Plug that one. Plug that one first. The other one I might need two hands for, so let's plug that in boom notch there but anyway that's basically it just got to throw the upper radiator hose back on and and whatnot hope you hope you enjoyed hope you learned something hope this helped if anything please give me a subscribe thumbs up every little bit helps costs you nothing and it helps the channel out a whole lot so it would be appreciated if not, leave a comment. Let me know what I did right. Let me know what I did wrong. If you've got a better way to do this, please share so the viewers can, can get this done correctly. And Because that's what it's all about, is the viewers let, making sure they get, it, get this done right. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.